Welcome! In front of me is a Cubot King Kong Mini 3 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode in order to get rid of something like screen lock. So, um, before I get started I'm just going to quickly point out that this device is locked right here. I do have a screen lock and Additionally, I want to also add that if you're doing this in order to remove a screen lock specifically and not just like a simple reset of the device, uh, then your device will most likely become FRP locked. So if you have a Google account sign in on a phone and you do this, it then requires you to either verify throughout the setup process your Google account or the screen lock. And if you don't know either one of those, you typically would be left with a well, phone that is stuck on the setup screen that cannot be really used. But luckily I do have a bypass for this for people that might be interested, so I'll be recording that as a next video. Now, for the actual reset, you will need to have a computer and a cable that can plug into it. Um, and then all you will do is just have it ready um, to plug it into the phone. So on the device you want to turn it off, so hold the power button and select power off. There we go. Then pop out your little area where you can put in your SIM card, uh, I mean SIM card, but the uh, cable, there we go. And what you want to do is hold volume up and while holding volume up, you're gonna plug it in. There we go. Now, you'll be presented with the boot mode. So here using only volume up, you want to select a recovery mode, which is the first option. So make sure that the arrow jumps all the way to the top like it just did, and then press the volume down to confirm it. Uh, another thing, you can unplug the cable, as it was only needed to boot us into the boot mode, which then takes us to the recovery mode. And here, which is the recovery mode, you want to use volume buttons, either up or down, to navigate up or down. And with that in mind, select wipe data factory reset, and then confirm it with the power button. Select factory data reset, it's going to tell you that it's formatting data. I'm going to plug the cable there. Um, and next, we're just going to confirm the option that is selected by default once uh, data wipe has been completed. So all you need to do is press power button to confirm the reboot system now. And this will now continue resetting the device. And once that's finished, we will be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.